I recently made a, a video highlighting the advantages of being 25 and under, right? Like what are some, and you can go check that out. Now in this video, I wanted to bring a counterpoint to this argument or, or, and talk about the benefits of old age and the advantages that older people have over younger people, right? How older people can still be valuable in the workplace and still provide a level of productivity that can be lacking in younger generations or very hard to find. Now, younger people and young adults have more energy, more ability to get up and recover from physical or mental strains. However, the biggest drawback is that young people don't, they don't really know what they're doing. They don't know who they are. They don't know what they like. They're usually in this stage of discovering in the world. They're still like, oh, I'm, I'm discovering myself, right? And that's a good thing. We, we should encourage that. But that's something that older people have already been through. And that's the other thing too, is that older people, they kind of understand what younger people are going through and have a better understanding of, of life, you know, life for old people, young people, and possibly an older person has, has even seen sort of um, very young people, right? Like they, they've seen kind of the, the fullness of life in a way that a young person has not. And that can give you an understanding of, of how things are, a perspective that is not, you know, that a young person wouldn't be able to have. Now, an older person, while they may not know everything about everything, they usually have some level of comfort with who they are. Now, usually, an older person is comfortable in their own skin. They've accepted who they are, not always, but usually. Now, one of the advantages of older people is our, our life experiences, right? Today's society, in my opinion, is not, it's not difficult, but certainly it's filled with a lot of, a lot of red tape and lives and activities that you have to do, right? Things, you know, things like doing your taxes, uh, keeping up with property payments, paying your bills, you know, dealing with health care, uh, saving money for emergencies, right? Having an emergency fund, uh, maintaining your car, just a lot of stuff that people under the age of 26, they don't really have experience with. They, they haven't practiced it enough. Or in many cases, you know, they, they've never even done it at all, right? So, I mean, if they're living with their parents, right, they, they haven't even experienced that yet. So they still have, some, some young people haven't left the nest yet. So they can't really even function fully as an adult, so, you know, that's one of the advantages of older people is that they already, they usually already are in tune with what it takes to live a sustainable life. These things, you know, they're, these life skills, they're not hard, but older people, they're used to it, right? They've been doing it for years and they know about it. And it's really just about knowing about it. You just have to know about it and get used to it. And a lot of younger people, they haven't, been through that. They haven't gotten used to it yet. It's not hard. I don't think it's hard. I think it's just, it's just a matter of doing it and functioning in, you know, in how our modern society works and avoiding the pitfalls, you know, and, and getting yourself on the right track to a, a place where you're sustainable, where you can continue. Um, now, the next issue is that people over the age of 25, they usually have some level of work ethic, right? A work ethic. And what that means is that, um, so, you know, you don't just get to old age and sustain yourself without having some system or way of organizing your life that requires, you know, order and work. And what I mean is, obviously, a person who's maintained themselves for a long while you know, probably working multiple jobs, or even if it's the same job, you know, whatever it is over the years, they will have life skills that, allow, that have allowed for that to happen. And that means 
that means they've been able to show up on time. You know, they're, they're either very good. They have to, right? You're either good at showing up on time or it means they've been able to live a life where they're able to get things done, right? So in, or um, anybody who's worked, anybody who's reached, who, who's retired, let's say, you know, as crazy or as, um, as simple-minded as they may seem, they might not even have a college degree or anything. You might think, oh, you might think they're not that bright. But you know what? That's simply not true. You know, anybody who has reached retirement age and who has um, worked a lot and who has done a lot, they have some wisdom. They have something. Either they show up, all, you know, they're, they're really good at that or they're, sh- they're good at um, de- dealing with difficult situations or whatever it is. They're good at something. Because you don't just get to that age without having some skill, something that, that makes them valuable, that, that people say, wow, this, this person's good. This person's willing to, to endure. And, and so the other thing, too, is in life, you know, things are not always fair. And an older person has seen their fair share of that. Okay, So every older person has seen that life is not always fair. And that's valuable because they'll have the wisdom and techniques about how they survived in life. They're survivors. And how, you know, what did they do? How did they cope with it? Right? And so younger people, they don't have that. They sometimes they don't really understand that. They see younger people think that, you know, you just walk up and things are just going to happen, you know, automatically. And sometimes it's not fair. And what that means is you have to get up and try again, right? And and get yourself into a place where, where it is fair. Okay? So now... So people over the age of 25, they have wisdom. Now, of course, not everyone has the same level of wisdom or the same type of wisdom, right? So everyone's life is different and, and we all have unique perspectives. So if you, know, if you ask, every, if you were to go and ask different older people about things, you'll find that they'll all say diverse and sometimes even contradictory you know, nuggets of wisdom and pieces of advice, So the wisdom comes from all of the experiences and moments that that a person has had. Now, a person, uh, presumably an older person, a person over the age of 25, they have made more mistakes. And mistakes are precisely how you have the opportunity to learn things. Life is not just about doing things at a job or, or just having knowledge. It's also about knowing how to organize your life, how to juggle things, multiple projects, uh, or having knowledge. It's, it's not, um, or, well, no. What I mean is having the, the knowledge to be able to, to deal with different situations that happen. And also about knowing how to manage your social, inter- your social interactions with other people. Right? So, um, now, someone who is older is also going to have a system that allows for them to exercise, to shower, to eat, and be able to do so for a long period. Now, this is significant because uh, this is significant because if you know a young person might be stronger, right? We've but, you know, why, why is a young person strong, right? Because their parents fed them and cared for them and presumably put them on a, a good path, right? Because that's how a young person becomes a, a strong adult, right? You wouldn't have reached adulthood if, if that hadn't happened. So then, but what happens after that, right? Once a young person, a young adult, let's say, is now they're, take, they're caring for themselves, but, but if they don't have a good system that allows them to operate, Right. If they don't have a good sleep schedule, if they don't have a good eating schedule, if they don't have good habits, what's going to happen is you're not. They're not going to last very long, right? They're going to start breaking apart. They're going to start falling apart. Like you won't make it. So really, the system in which you operate your life matters. And if you meet an older person, you know that means they're eating something that has sustained them for that long. Right. That's really what it means. And also, you know, that they've been able to they have some way of organizing their life that allows for them to continue for for decades. Right. And 
They're able to organize in a life that has allowed them to operate just like a machine, right? Just like a machine needs maintenance. As humans, we need maintenance. Life is cyclical and it requires repeating actions over and over again and making the good habits early on. And this will bring success to the, to the practitioner and, and that accrues. That's what has accrued in, into the mind of an old, into the, what we call the wisdom of an older person. And um, when, you know, when you are repeating things over and over again, that means there's a certain level of, um, there's a certain level of fortitude there's a, a, a certain level of fortitude means will and, and the ability to, to do it for a long period of time without getting tired. You don't get tired. You, you keep going. Now, there's a reason, okay, why, you know, you usually, it's not always, but you usually need to be, you know, in your 30s or above to be a leader, or a CEO, right? Or, or, a, or a leader of any kind. And, and why is that? It's not always, of course. There are leaders that are, you know, like you could be a manager in your 20s or even a teenager, believe it or not. But, but I mean, usually, right, if you are kind of a top leader, most, not all, of course, like I don't want to say all, of course. Like there are some people who are outstanding, right? But I'm saying for the most part, most of them are, you know, they're usually in their 30s or more. And it makes sense. Why? Because there's a certain level of maturity and an understanding that comes with having lived that long that allows for being able to see and understand things in the proper perspective, as well as all of the other life skills that I just talked about. So, be, you know, another thing that's worth mentioning is being able to look back at your life and see the changes that have happened over the, you know, over the last 10, 20 or 30 years is important in getting a sense of the, uh, of the scope of things. So, you know, a, a person who is 30 or 40 years old, they've seen multiple generations. They've seen what it's like. They've, they've, they've understood what happens and how, how, you know, how things used to be, how things are now. And not that it matters because obviously depending on the society you live in, you don't really know where your society is going to go, right? We're not in control of that. But at the very least, at least you're not, at least you're not enamored with the now. You know, young adults and younger people, they, they're really, um, usually they're amazed at what's happening in the moment because they don't know anything better, right? They don't know. They've never seen anything else. And so... There, there's no way for them to know, you know, that that's all they've ever known. So, but, you know, this is something that a person that is 25 or under, they cannot possibly have this experience. They don't know what it's like to, to see the years pass by. Like they, that, that, for some reason, feeling that makes it, it makes you look at things differently. Having, having been through it allows you to understand what the passage of time is and what it does to um, what it does in any situation, right? So um, now this matters because it just makes you see patterns, but it also, you know, you need to understand that some things are normal, right? Some things that happen, you don't need to worry about it. And then some things are unusual, right? And so that's where the passage of time comes into play because somebody who is young, they might not realize that, oh, you know what's happening? It's normal. Like this is, yeah, this has happened before. But if something is unusual or something has never happened, that's something that, you know, where experience comes into play and an older person can provide that, right? And so an older person is not going to be as afraid of new situations usually because they've usually seen how things used to be and an older person just has that perspective of knowing how things can change without notice, but also how some things are better left alone. So it's, it's weird how in life, and we all make different decisions on how we decide this, but sometimes in life you can decide it's better to change things. And then there are other things where 
you know, the tried and true method is better. It's better to just keep things, the, some things the same and some things. And everyone is going to decide differently how they're going to cut that, how they're, you know, how they're going to decide that um, within an organization or society. One thing that is true is that a person over the age of 25, in my opinion, um, you know, just as I said in my previous video, they, it is true that they lose, uh, or they lose strength, okay, and the ability to reco recover and learn as quickly as a younger person. So as someone who is older, they do not um, recover in the same way. So they're older. So now, that doesn't mean that they still can't learn or build themselves up. So what that means is that uh, physically, right, the body slows down. The metabolism slows down. The growth of the hair slows down. Everything slows, but it can still learn. It can still, uh, it can still do things that are sort of, it can still learn as, as a sort of, it can still, or the, the body can still learn and grow, but it just doesn't do it as quickly. Now, this has to be counterbalanced with the wisdom and the strength and the intellectual ability that they already have. So the wisdom of an older person and their common sense is what will protect an older person or what will give them the benefit. So what that means is that, you know, younger people, they might have more strength, but they also lack the experience and the wisdom to be able to keep themselves safe sometimes. So the strength really it often goes to waste because a younger person they don't really know how to use their strength properly. And also because the, the other disadvantage is that younger people, they tend to have, they're reckless. Reckless means that they do things that are risky. They're riskier than, you know, because they have a very strong urge to, to just go out there and do it without understanding. And they do things that are unsafe and possibly could get that young person out of commission or hurt. You know, you can get hurt, whereas an older person would go about things slower. But, you know, they do this with the wisdom of understanding to not put themselves in a situation where they could get hurt. And young people, you know, they tend to, uh, you know, a good example of this is, you know, you see young, young people and young adults, they, they run around, right? They're running around, you know, in concrete whenever they're in a hurry. Now, this, an older person would most likely not do that, right? They're probably, they probably have the wisdom to realize that running, you know, if you run around, you could fall down and hurt yourself. You know, if the floor is slippery, right? Maybe somebody's mopping or maybe, you know, there's a wet floor and, you know, you're, you're running and you could sweat, you could fall and hurt yourself. And that's a big deal. But like, you know, you're constantly, you know, this is where older people have to like counsel younger people. Like, hey, you know what? You stop running, you know what I mean? But that's that comes from wisdom, right? Because you don't want someone to fall and get hurt. And you could get hurt pretty bad, actually, if, if it's a bad fall. So it's it's just not a, you know, it, it's um, it's something that you especially tell young people, but even young adults, they still feel that urge to run around. And so, you know, that's where the wisdom comes into play. Now, most older people, they're not going to run around like that. And they're also going to be more cautious. And that's going to be a benefit to, that's going to be a benefit to the, um, to any business. Because they're going to operate like that as well when it comes to, um, they're going to operate like that when it comes to running a business as well. And how in their workplace, they're going to be more cautious. And that's a good thing. Um, now, perhaps the most amazing thing about older people and I've talked about this in my channel a lot, but it's the idea of experience and skills, you know, that an older person, you know, these are all things that we can build, but these are things that are carried. The good thing about skills is that they are carried. You carry them with them. An older person carries from their youth 
all the way, it stays with them. The brain and the muscles, they become wired, they become specialized, and, and they are good at whatever it is that they specialize in. So I've talked about you know, building intellectual skills in this channel, and, and then you can also build social skills, right? So a lot of older people, not all of them, but a lot of them, they're really funny, or they really have good social skills, and it just comes out of them naturally, something that a lot of young people struggle with, right? They're, because they're not as confident. But older people, you know, they, they talk. They, they don't mind talking. They're not afraid of it anymore. They don't have that anxiety. Oh, some of them do, but, but it doesn't matter because the thing is, almost all older people, even if they don't have the social skills or the intellect, they have some kind of skill, physical skills, something, right? And the skills and muscles that you build as a younger person, that will carry on. It carries on into adulthood and it gets locked into you. So locked in in the sense that you're not going to lose it just like you learned how to ride a bicycle right you are um when you ride a bicycle you don't forget and in the same way it gets locked into you is what that's what i mean that's what i mean by that so now while it may be slower for an older person to pick up new stuff they can still learn it but for the stuff that an older person already knows right or if they're already a whiz at it and and there's you know, they're going to be, um, for the, you know, they, they are still going to be better than a young person could be because they already have the skills that takes decades to form. And it's unlikely that a young person has had enough time to learn it. So, so what that means is that a younger person, right, they haven't had enough time to learn. So there are certain things that like in order to be an expert at something, there are certain things that just takes years to learn. So it's not possible for a young person to be good at it. And an older person will be able to carry that knowledge with them. Now, what this means is the most powerful thinkers and even athletic uh, performers, let's say, not, not literally performers, but athletic people who are knowledgeable about athletics, coaches, right? So the most powerful thinkers and coaches and coaches on average they're going to be older because they've had the time to accumulate the skills and their brain has specialized their their intellectual and physical skills to what what they have to to the experiences that they've had to the skills that they've built up. Now, you might wonder how an older person can be stronger than a younger person, right? How can they be stronger if, if we already said that younger people have more strength, right? The reason is because your intellectual, because your intellectual and physical skills stay with you as you age. So if a, so if a younger person or a young adult lifts heavy stuff and works for hours, right? Let's say a young adult They've been doing that all their lives. That means that as they get older, that they're still going to have the strength to do that, which a young person that has never lifted would not have. And that would probably describe most people, right? Most people, are they're not skilled at everything. You can't be good at everything. So whatever you do is going to carry on with you. So, so let me see, like... Uh, uh, a 70-year-old person that has worked in a farm all of their lives, that they're going to be stronger than some young person that has never lifted or worked too hard. So the young person wouldn't have any, you know, this applies to skills, you know, it, this doesn't just apply to, to uh, physical skills, but any skills, right? If an, if an older person is an experienced, let's say they are experienced at cleaning, you know, at doing dishes or cleaning machinery or, you know, scrubbing things, doing things with their hands, right? Anything that has to do with arm and hand strength, 
you know, or, or, or even a, a knitting or anything like that, this, this is like um, have, being, having the, the finger strength to do that is, is something that a young person wouldn't have automatically. It would take, and so that's where your skills matter. Now, if, let's say, a person who has been teaching, right, a, a teacher, right, let's say, that's been teaching for decades, they are going to have more experience and are going to be preparing and are going to be better at preparing things than an older, than a younger person who has never done it. So most older people, they still carry their physical and intellectual abilities with them and they can still outperform younger people who have no experience. Like I said before, the, the most talented and extraordinary people, you know, the, the John Williams of the world, the amazing thinkers, or even retired athletes, they can still teach, they can still surpass the younger generations. And, you know, an extraordinary composer like John Williams can still pro- compose amazing musical pieces that most people, that, mu- that most humans can never compose, you know. And because his skill is so rare, right? So in, in John Williams' case, that skill carried with him all his life. And in doing, you know, and, and he's doing things that most people can't even do at all. Forget about trying to do it well. They can't even do it at all. Most people would never figure out how to do this. So skills matter. In this case, it's extremely valuable. And some skills take years or more than a decade to perfect, like composing music or writing, learning how to write, so learning how to express yourself. Because really what John Williams does is he expresses what's going on in his mind, I would assume, right? And, And is able to translate that into something that is, that can be appreciated and and then listened to, right? In the same way that a writer is able to transmit their ideas and turn it into something that is, uh, that, that, that another person can understand using words. So in that sense, only, not only does an older person, can they possibly, so what I mean is only an older person can be extraordinary in that regard. And someday, if a young person, a young person, if you're a young person, you can be among those greatest of skilled people. And if you're an older person, you're still valuable in the workplace and have a lot to offer. And remember that no one has your exact set and combination of skills, okay? Nobody has the exact same combination of skills that you have. So thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed.